good morning uh, for today's session i welcome you all for today's session so today we are going to discuss with uh, pressure measurement gauges as i dis uh, as i said um, before that um, pressure measurement gauges are two gauges those are modern tube gauge and maclod gauge so previously we have done, discussed about the modern tube which we are using in a triple m lab and uh, today we are going to discuss with maclod gauge maclod gauge the operation of maclod gauge is based on boyle's law boyle's law what is boyle's law p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 okay p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 therefore p1 is equal to p2 v2 by v1 <coughs> and you all can see the sketch here okay where uh, where p1 and p2 are the initial and corresponding pressures here and uh, v1 v2 are the volumes at corresponding conditions okay by comparing here we are going to compare with what the un by comparing a known volume of low pressure gas to a high pressure and measuring the resulting volume and pressure we can calculate the initial pressure okay that is given here p1 is equal to you can see p1 is equal to p2 v2 by v1 okay <coughs> next we are going to proceed with this explanation of the sketch okay the maclod gauge is modified mercury manometer okay the maclod gauge is a modified mercury manometer it looks like manometer you can see here okay hmm? the moveable reservoir you all can see this moveable reservoir here this is the moveable reservoir which is filled with mercury okay the moveable reservoir this moveable reservoir is lowered until the mercury column drops below the opening it is see here you all can see this piping it is this mercury is lowered from this moveable reservoir until the opening o opening o this is the opening o okay is it clear with that below the opening o means below this opening o that uh mercury is lowered okay the bulb b you all can see this bulb b <coughs> bulb b and capillary tube c this is the capillary tube okay this is the capillary tube c are then at same pressures and as that of vacuum pressure p okay the reservoir is subsequently raised so next step the reservoir this reservoir moveable reservoir is raised to some height okay raised to some height until the mercury fills the fills the bulb at second step the mercury fills the bulb when this reservoir is raised for some height okay raised to some level of height okay and the capillary tube to a point where the level in the reference r you all can see the reference r here till here the bulb b capillary tube c as well as this scale you all can see till here it fills okay for the at the next step okay and next if the volume of the capillary tube per unit volume of the capillary tube per unit length per unit length is a per unit length is a then the volume of gas in the capillary tube is capillary tube is vc is equal to a1 this is equation 1 where y is the length of the capillary tube occupied by the gas you all can see here Uh, this is the dis uh, distance mentioned that is y where length of the capillary tube 
occupied by the gas this space is occupied by the gas okay next coming back to this if the volume of the capillary tube tube comma bulb and the tube down to the opening is vb assuming isothermal compression the pressure of the gas in the capillary tube is pc is equal to pvb by vc okay since pvb is equal to pc vc okay <clears throat> this will be your second equation okay the pressure indicated by the capillary tube is pc minus p is equal to y this is equation number 3 where we are expressing the pressure in terms of height of the mercury column we know that we know that pvb is equal to pc vc okay this is a equation number 4 <coughs> is it clear substitute the values of vc pc in equation 1 and 3 respectively okay substitute values of pc and vc from equation 1 and 3 in equation 4 we have we have what we have see here pvb is equal to y plus p a y is equal to a y square plus p a y is it clear p a y therefore p v b is equal to p v b minus p a y is equal to a y square p into v b minus a y is equal to a y square okay y square therefore p is equal to a y square divided by v b minus a y so usually a y is less than v b so vacuum pressure vacuum pressure p is equal to a y square divided by v b this is the thing okay next after this we are going to start with optical pyrometer okay <clears throat> so you all can see here optical pyrometer we have drawn here optical pyrometer <coughs> optical pyrometer uses methods of matching as the basis for their operation okay we need not to discuss all this here you can see the here i piece is adjusted huh? such that the filament and the source appear filament this is the filament and the source that this is the temperature source appears in a superimposed position the filament may appear either hotter or colder than an unknown so the current through the filament is adjusted by this rheostat the current is adjusted with the help of this rheostat you all can see here hmm? when the current passing through the filament is too low the filament will emit radiations of lesser intensity than that of the source it will appear dark against a bright 
background you all can see the dark against the bright background and next one filament temperature is too high when filament temperature is too high will be in this position appearance will be and correct filament current when we apply we get the filament disappears and the background will be visible these are the things here okay and okay thank you for the today's session so we have completed optical pyrometer as and uh, pressure measurement thank you